Okay. So I just finally put together the knife switch for the electric chair. So I got my handle on there, uh, which is actually a foot for a table, for a small table, which costs about $1.50 at the store. So I bent the aluminum for the main part of it. Uh, also bent the aluminum brackets, uh, cut and bent, and rounded out the aluminum brackets that are on here. And then I just uh, did drill two holes for each, use some old screws to install them in there. Then I do have a lock nut on each side uh, of the brackets also. And I did also round out the aluminum bottom of the bracket itself. Uh, this is just some copper, so I just bought some little copper uh, plate from Ace Hardware. It was actually pretty expensive and very very involved for it, and I actually not doing anything, um, but it is copper. Um, so I just bent those, cut out one inch strips, kind of about uh, three inches long. Uh, sorry, four inches long. So one and a half inch, one and a half inches there. And then one and a half or one inch just uh, for the mounting plate. Um, so so it worked pretty good. You know, it goes down and gets stuck uh, on the section there. And you do have to slam it down. So the whole goal was to make a big knife switch without having really any electricity going through it. So the kids can kind of start the sequence uh, on its own. So I just finished painting the, painting the bottom part of the box and did finally get it installed. Uh, I did put a little hinge on the back just to make it easier for access. And then I'm going to just uh, put a couple screw holes here in the corner, there and there to hold it down uh, during operation. So this is what I decided for the inside of the of the panel to operate. Um, I just need very low voltage switch. Um, so, so I mean this can you know handle 120 volts, but uh, so it's just a little uh, rocker switch, rocker arm with the ball bearing. I didn't really need the ball bearing on there, but it's just from actually old prop that I had. Um, also same with the plywood, so that's why you see it all painted uh, actually from a Christmas uh, thing that I took apart there. Um, so I'm gonna put in. So what I did is I got a uh, old roofing nail. I think it's from Shingles. Uh, that we had, so I just trimmed it. I cut off the point, trimmed it to the length I needed, and it's perfect because it needed a flat head. So what I did is I drilled a hole on the side here. So I basically just slipped. So this is looking at it backwards, but slips in there, and then hopefully when the switch gets uh, turned all the way down, this will come up like that and push the rocker switch down. So I got that wired up, drilled one little hole for the wire. Um, I think I'm just going to end up rolling the long wires over to the prop because it's going to be quite a bit of ways. So I'm just going to attach this. I didn't have a small enough uh, cable tie or uh, cable clip to screw down to the plywood. So I just tied a knot, made it nice and simple. So then hopefully we'll see, uh, we'll see what I'm talking about here from the front. We'll open up the switch. So the hole here, there you go. So there's the pin there. And it slides in really smoothly in and out. I just made the hole slightly bigger than the than the nail. So we'll see hopefully if we can get a get an activation here. Let's see how it works. So now you can see the aluminum nail. I think it's aluminum. Just slightly above. I think I left it a half inch above. So let me close down the knife switch. All the way like that. There we go. Perfect. So it lines up really nicely. Um, so just right under the arm, which is perfect. So when it comes down, it just lands right on the arm. So that should activate everything. So I still need to hook up uh, uh, Mike Morse uh, four banger. And I still need to wire everything. Uh, actually, the plugs are already wired. I just need to wire it up to the electric chair. Um, so hopefully this will just activate the sequence and 
we can get uh, people involved in our props uh, and at a at a safe distance um, and, and in a safe way. All right. Thanks a lot.